Jonah, will you cut that beef broth open? Yeah. And set it in the Dutch oven. Breakthrough last night. Didn't have to take a bath to go back to sleep. Woke up several times in pain, but didn't have to take a bath. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but my ankle is getting crazy. Yeah, you can tell. Right? Look how look at that right there. That's crazy. It's 6:40. We basically eat in 10 hours. Uh, let's put it on 250. This is Escalito. Our wither we just harvested. Thank you for getting the llama. Okay, now rinse it off real good. And then put it in there, bone side down, okay? Just thought of something. Should have brined that all night long. Should have soaked that in salt water. All right, we've got the lamb in there. We've mm. salted it. Beef broth on the bottom. It's heavy, pot. I can't lift, I can't do it. Josiah. Thank you, Josiah. Yay. I better buy this if I can I'm a bit discouraged. I'm actually remembering the 4th of July and how I like walked around. My right arm's gotten a little bit better since then. But now, like, I'm back to limping again. It's a bit frustrating. <laughs> the Everflow Waterer. That project came to a screeching halt. And I wanted to get it done before Joel got here. I want to say I can't, actually, because I can't get that done on time. But I want to get out of the habit of saying can't. And instead say, how can I? Yeah, I might be limping around, not have a right arm, but are there other ideas like Jonah or Arun? Jonah's idea to, to landscape, like Mo, get it looking good, It's called a garden guy. Because remember Benjamin? He's actually available and he's actually going to come. So maybe he and Jonah can take a break from mowing and do that Everflow. So let's get out of that can't mindset. Because if I say I can't, of course, of course I can't, it's over. Something I've been telling myself this morning. My body has the power to heal itself. Which we are under the care of the doctor. So we are aiding my body. But my body has the power to heal itself. More evidence of a rat? No. Have you checked the traps? Nothing? Yep. Did the little lambs stay in their paddock? I think so. What? We did it. The little lambs have been bro broke through a couple of times to get to their mamas. We're weaning them. And you think you think they stayed in? I don't know. It's quiet. How's the pig? She's better. She's crazy. That's crazy. We have a drench for her. But well let's see let's see if she eats. If she doesn't eat, we'll drench her. Wow. <laughs> That's a speedy recovery. We drenched her half and half, half a set of vinegar and water yesterday. We put five cups in their 50 gallon water. Oh, we gave her charcoal, kale. Oh, 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 quick, 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 quick. Okay, good, good. What the heck, what the heck just happened? Wait, you can't let her out. If they both get out, we're in big trouble. Good, good. Don't let her out, whatever you do. Here. Good, good boy, good boy. Ah, oh, you dropped one, you dropped one. Don't let her out. Don't let her out. Okay, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Good, good boys, good boys. Go ahead and spread that up side of vinegar in there. It's not like they're gonna, I think she's gonna eat it just fine. Her body has the power to heal itself. That's good, since that's the one we're gonna keep for breeding. It's good to know she can kick some. All right. Uh, you guys know what you're doing. Okay, well, she's revived. Yeah, let's start feeding them in two pans. They're big enough now, okay? Okay. So let's go get that pan out of here. That's probably the minerals. You got some left over? Yeah. Okay, just leave it there. Maybe I need to take charcoal, pig nutribalancer, and kelp. <laughs> oh, apple cider vinegar, half and half with water. Over there, you can't, there's a sheep, not with the others. Don't see the lambs over there, though. 
and I don't hear him bleating, let's go check. But I better not walk. I better take Cubby. We gotta get fuel. One of my favorite things about this Kubota utility vehicle is it runs on diesel. 500 gallon tank of diesel. It runs, it can run our furnace. It runs our generator. It, runs it can that. run our tractor. So help me. It can it run, run the that. side by side. It, that fuel can be stored. It's not like gasoline, can't be stored very long. Uh, this can be stored. Hold on. And we can buy off-road diesel, which is without tax. And the diesel comes to us, so we don't got to go nowhere. The truck brings it. All right, let's open that thing up. It's pumping. Should be getting it. Keep going. It, it'll shut off automatically, I think. It has an auto shut off. Nobody's getting messy either. We're not having to mess with jugs. I like this. Now you are learning how to pump gas. Now I don't have to do it anymore. You guys can get out and do it. Yeah, you can just pull up to gas. See, it shut off by itself. It won't let you overflow it. The boys are running it down to the generator while we're at it. I do hear bleating, so that's encouraging me. That means the little lambs aren't all strangled in the electric fence, dead. They've stayed separated and they've stayed safe. Cooking with a rune, Kumar. Look at the weather. It's ugly, isn't it? They're having a hard time opening it. I don't know if I can go down there. I can get on the cubby and come around. Yeah. I saw it'll do. See, I'm not gonna say I can't. I'm gonna say, how can I? Well, I might not be able to walk down that bank, but I can walk to cubby and go around. It was wrong. I found the right one. The silver lid. No, this is another one. See here. It won't open. Okay. Was it empty? Seems like it. I think it was about halfway, but yeah. might as well. We got the pump out, might as well. Yeah, because cyclone is coming. <laughs> the cyclone is coming? You know the Florida cyclone is oh, wow. in Yema or something? When's that coming? It's, uh, that's why it's going to be getting rain. Ah, the rain winding it up nicely. Well, there they are. They stayed over there. Look at how Buddy's, how big Buddy's getting. Don't you like that, how Buddy just comes up? Pet him a little bit, Josiah. Good. We should bring out Falf out here every once in a while. Nacho is so big. Like, and he's calm he's calmed Nacho down mega. He's brought the calmness out of Nacho. Look, here goes the rune. Oh, he tried to get out. There we go. This is how Arun had to wrestle the We pet we pet Nacho plenty over the winter. The Nacho's getting a little better. Before he used to like runs so crazy if you go in. Now I think Buddy is like training him. Mm. Papa? Yes? I love you. Oh, I love you too, buddy. Two fat chicks out. We're gonna go ahead and clip their wings yeah. when they catch them. I'm gonna say two strikes and they're out. We need to mark them. Good job. Nice. You got your Leatherman? Yeah. Is that Leatherman gonna do it or what? Yeah. Yeah, let me see this. Go down a little lower, Joe. Oh. Yeah, quite a bit lower. Yeah, careful with the. You can go a little Yeah, I was thinking about. <laughs> you think you are. Joe's getting it. I was kind of thinking I'd snap right out of this, but uh, the doctor did say it could take up to 12 weeks. That's three months. So I guess I'm doing pretty good. Two weeks into it. Hey, back. The pig's better. You spitting up? It makes me wonder, should I be taking charcoal? Kelf. <laughs> Kelf. Pig Nutribouncer and uh, apple cider vinegar. You might have to hold me down for that apple cider vinegar. <laughs> Bring it. <laughs> you guys hold down and I'll show you. Yeah. Um, now there is some truth in the apple cider vinegar, isn't there, for information? I have actually thought about the apple cider vinegar because I have read that it's good for arthritis. Yeah. And not that you don't have arthritis, like, you have arthritis feelings. Look who's here. Randolph, we got a job for you out there. Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> we got you downstairs today. It's what we're building here, Randolph. That should be pretty easy for you. Professional carpenter with step-by-step -step instructions. Well, we'll we'll give her a try. <laughs> hey, Randolph, I appreciate you because I was actually hoping to do this project, but you're gonna have to be my right foot and my right arm. 
All right. I'll do it. <laughs> Here should be all the stuff. All right, Randolph, you're in good hands with Polyface Designs there. Yep. All I've got to do is follow the directions. I know, right? If you can read, you can <laughs> build this. They're both milking from this one side because she gets kicky when they I know. try to milk on the other side for some reason. How's it going so far, Randolph? I got her going. Good. We get into the cuts? Yeah. Does it look like everything's in there? I think so, best I can tell. Just to review for those guys who have been here or if those are just checking in, I got what you call Campylobacter. I ate a raw chicken liver, part of one. It's more than likely from that. Turns out that was a big mistake. That's embarrassing. Most of the time when people get Campylobacter, it's not a big deal. They get a fever, they get some diarrhea. Most of the time, people don't even have to go on an antibiotic. There's a rare 5%, it seems, that get what you call reactive arthritis, which is an arthritis, I guess, reacting to the arising from, it, it goes to your joints. You feel pain in your joints. We suspect, including the doctor, that it could be, it could be being compounded because of my Lyme disease. So I should, some of these pains are familiar. So I could have had symptoms of this, sufferings of this for quite a while, but this is just heightened. It's brought it, we're thankful because it's brought that to our attention. A lot of my pains that I've had in the past could just be uh, this arthritis and we might now have a better chance of fighting it, knowing what it is. See if I can do this. Since it's arthritis, you, they say you want to keep moving. I'm getting me some apple cider vinegar pronto. <laughs> I am in a lot of pain, but I saw what it did for those that pig. Good God. And that would take a little bit more than a That's what I was thinking. Was that for like that was probably like treatment? A that was probably or was like that a daily, daily treatment. I'm thinking like tablespoons. Yeah. Once in the morning, once in the evening. This woman right there stepped it up. She has stepped it up like a mega champion. Why is it in that? Because I was getting it from down there. I hope it's clean. It is. I was. I opened a open Dirt bucket. Dirt gets some. I got, okay. opened a bucket for this. All right. I want one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and one tablespoon of water. Okay. What about some ginger? No. She made me take this ginger shot last night. But yeah, you, you also slept really good last night. Oh. Really. Is it a nine? Uh, uh, That's true. Everybody does that when they take it. Yeah. <laughs> Doing a little bit of office work and Arun came in and asked me about the Everflow. So I'm gonna actually draw it out for him. I think he could do it. This is my map for him. Do you think you got it? Yeah. All right. Come, come get me when you're ready to try it. I'll help. We looked out the window and we saw a strange white. Well, there it goes. Strange white minivan. All right, what's going on? And then, and then Arun, Arun brings up. up with these flowers. <laughs> Arun saw them. Somebody sent us some flowers. They're gorgeous. It's from Greenstock Green family, and they Thank say, "Thank you guys so get much." Well. Oh, thanks, guys. That means a lot. If you guys don't know what green stock is, that's it. A vertical garden. Absolutely jamming in our on our dock. What a cool container that's in too. All vintage looking. Because what is going on? We came back you from got, vacation. You got a dog? <laughs> Alright, enjoy, enjoy your time back from vacation. Let's go check and see how Randolph's doing. The Everflow and Arun had a big a bit of a problem. It's not siphoning from the pond. So I told him how to do that. But it might be quitting time for him. Did you get it siphoned down from the pond? I'm just, gonna, I was cleaning this, then I'm, I'm gonna take this hose. Use the hose. Yeah. Okay. Coming, are you coming to see my job? Oh, okay, I'll see your job, sure. I'm also gonna see Randolph's job. I didn't know what you were doing. What are you doing? Cleaning out the tool room. Oh, wow. Oh, I see the shape of it. Going pretty good. That You found out what we use a J-clip for. Yeah, you couldn't do that without them things. That's a specialty tool right there. It wraps this metal band, which yeah. I guess is a J-clip. 
strips around the the Where? wire. You just hold it on her like that and mash it. Oh man, it makes it easy. Uh, I guess you gotta mess it up before you clean it up. Oh my word. We're gonna have to get a lock on this door. I have a How about lock. one with a key code? I, okay, yeah. Look at this. Wow. All your we had all this here. stuff to hang these up with? Yeah. That is cool. Cool. You clean the table? Yeah. Man, I'll tell you he's gonna be impressed. Arun. Well, yeah, Rune, but your mother. Okay, kids, are you gonna help Randolph? After lunch, because lunch is ready. Oh, okay, that's right. Let's get in, let better go eat lunch. Thank God for Randolph. I know. There's a lot, there's countless. You couldn't have done that. Squeezes. Okay. Yeah, it would have been hard. I see you having a little burn it up cooking show here. You're not gonna eat that wing. Arun just came and got me. He said that it's working. <laughs> that, 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 that man, it's not overflowing? No. I was thinking we're gonna have some problems because we're pulling the water back up to get it out. So I wasn't sure that would work. I think drop down is pretty good, I think. Yeah, the drop and down also, here. And down there also. So you probably got a good siphon on the bottom. It's coming out right there. Hmm. That needs to be if we have a uh if we have a board. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've probably lost our siphon because of that. Um do you have a like a two by four to put under where your hand is? Yeah, I will bring it. We probably have to you know get what? water in this line again. Yeah, because I think what happened because I was fixing this thing here. Yeah. So maybe it got a little bit late, so it got like you know the Okay. Well you cleaned it up nicely. Yeah. Look at the pressure coming down, it's great. Now we gotta get that kind of pool from here. We might have to run this hose downhill. Yeah, this way? Yeah. But we're hoping to not have to do that because we'd rather go to that culvert and then down. He's actually gonna go check to see if it's pooling. If it's pooling, it's maybe more, it's less of pressure. Then we're, we're getting above this, which makes sense because it's taller. Uh, we might can just adju adjust how fast the water's coming in. Is it coming pretty good? Yeah. Okay, then leave it. Well, Rune, I think we got our sweet spot. Look like it. Yeah, I think it's siphoning on both ends about the same speed now. Yeah. But time will tell. It's 140. Let's give our meat a test. Because if you're not testing, you're guessing. say I can't do that. I'm just gonna say how can I? I'm just gonna go at it different. I think I can test it from here. Oh wow. That's for real. Look how it's crusting up on the top even without taking the lid off. I love it. We're gonna take take it out of line now. Oh yeah we're good. We're like 203. Went in there super easy. We want it to fall off the bone. Pretty close. So I'm actually gonna turn it down just a hair. Two, two, one. But cooking it longer and more will definitely tenderize it. I think about three o'clock we'll uncover it. And then four o'clock we'll turn off the oven and let it start cooling off. Look at this, look how this turned out. I might not be able to fork this out. It's so fall off the bone tender. This is a good problem. Look, this is a good problem. Look, look. Oh, oh, I can't get it out. <laughs> Let's try this again, two forks. Want a barbecue fork? Oh, I love this problem. Yeah. There we go. Wow, Escalito, first time. He needs some salt, but he's gonna be really good. You stir it, don't stir it too much though. I don't want it to like become mush. Yeah, it's turning into that. Just turn it. There you go. I like the ambiance. Looks good. Ooh. Excellent. You be eating that with us in no time? I think so. The trainer was here for Rebecca a little earlier. He said, I feel it. You're gonna be feeling better by Monday. Here comes some apple cider vinegar and Monday healing. You're not as hopeful? I hope you are. Hopefully it does to that me what it did to that pig. We can not open these. Yeah, they got cooked a little long. It, it, it still this works. This is what I'm doing. 
There you go. Make do. Like where is it? Make great pizza.